I shot. It's certain Arabs that just had a, a story that just stood out like a sore thumb. Like, for instance, Omar. Omar had King City. 05, 06, 07. King City, you had to go to King City. I don't give a fuck. If, you, if Jay-Z came here, you know, take me to a story. Shit, you got to go on King City. And believe it or not, King City did smack in the middle of the hood. King City was a big store on the east side, and I was like the artist over here, so he had all the shit, you know what I'm saying? He had all the kicks and all the clothes and shit, so before the shows, you know, I was uh, uh, Omar, Omar, you know what I'm saying? Before, before I opened up for damn near every artist who came here, you know what I'm saying, at that time. King City was the first label in the, in the city I was signed to, you know, despite my cousin, you know. King City was... King City had a label? Back in the day, GCP, guys can party, goonies can play. Um, it was Ali. It was Ali. Shout out to Ali. Fuck with us. They wanted to chop his head off and send it back to Yemen. Ali was renegade. He was going to the clubs with us, to the shows. He was doing it all, standing on the blocks. We would sponsor a lot of local hip hop artists and have concerts, like uh, uh, impromptu concerts right outside the jump off and just like shut the whole strip down and we bought thousands of dollars worth of videos and nobody had them in Buffalo because we would buy them straight from the man, straight from the people, straight from the city. We had the connections. So we had the cheapest t-shirts, the cheapest kicks, the realest CDs. I mean, we, you know, it was, we were, we were an underground hip hop store. And then when I came, we had the customized airbrushing. Ali was doing it all. And they ended up sending Ali another ass back for a long time. Like you see Ali now, you, Ali, what's up? He, peace my brother. He, he like, what? They fucked you up over there. <laughs> for a long time, King City went through some shit at one point in time. And they was closed for a few years. So that's really what happened. People started going to jail. People started getting killed. So, you know, once, you know, every good, every good well must run dry. So, you know, that shit just, you know, it just ended like that. You know, it was good days, good days and good times. The store closed down, people be outside lined up like, like zombies, like, yo, why you not open? Because he's open on holidays, blizzards, rainstorms. I mean, the impact, I, I can't even, I can't even, I can't even say what the impact is, but we don't advertise and everybody knows us. So I don't know, you tell me what the impact is. Everybody know the local music was at King City. If you was trying to find a local artist tape, most likely it was at King City. And you know, other record stores, they keep a select few local artists at, the, at theirs. It was, maybe it's like a, everybody couldn't get in there, but King City, Omar was letting everybody in. This one, Dipset was on fire. Them niggas used to have Dipset up here. Motherfucking this one, French was on fire. They used to have French up here. Waka, motherfucking uh, Remy Ma. Like before she even went to jail, when Remy used to wear the two-tone hair, the blonde shit and the black shit, that bitch used to be up there. Oh, no, I don't mean to say that. Shout out Remy Ma. She used to be up there. Bleep that out. <laughs> Bleep that out on the editor. <laughs> I don't know beef. I love you, Remy. I swear to God I do. You chocolate motherfucker, you. They thought we sold drugs out it because so many people come in the store for music, for, for, for T-shirts, for custom artwork, for whatever, that... Um, they thought something nefarious was going on. So they would come in regularly, weekly, and just bust everybody and have us in handcuffs sitting outside the store while they rouse the store. You know, if you ever been rousted by the cops, you already know what happens. You know, they're gonna come in, they close the store, they lock the door, they pull up with like five or six cars, some unmarked cars and all kinds of crap. And, and they do it in broad, they do it broad daylight why you have business hours. So everybody pulling up to your store trying to do business will see you like as if you're a criminal or something. When no motherfuckers is in here, I'm the artist. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a independent contractor. I'm still spraying, motherfucker. I'm like... Them niggas gotta come over here and take my shit out my hand, grab my ass up, because listen, I ain't listen. You're gonna have to arrest me. In 2019, Intensified gang sweeps hit the streets of Buffalo's black neighborhoods. Several were arrested and hit with federal indictment charges. When employment is low, crime will always be high. And as of now, 
Buffalo is ranked 10th on the most dangerous cities in America's list. We don't have too many um, stories of people that have made it through the streets. You know what I mean? Like, not really. You know, I haven't, I haven't seen too many, you know? And if they do, they, they move the hell out of Buffalo. Buffalo's one of the places that you can't be too much of an overachiever, especially in the streets, you know? So, you know, if you're not careful, you get swallowed whole, whether that's going upstate or losing your life. My brother trapping out the van. He's like, yo, don't, don't put the van on camera. <laughs> Yeah, look, some shit going on already. And play. <coughs> they always going down that way. I do music. What kind of music? I rap. How long you been rapping? Off and off for a long time. I just started taking this shit <laughs> serious my last, my last time getting out of jail. Or my last time getting jammed up. I actually got shot right here. I got shot in the back right here. And it was cold. Might be a little further up. But my pops is out here. A lot of niggas out here. This shit, it's all I know. You know what I'm saying? This shit. It's, 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 it's resonating. You know what I mean? Everything I speak on is that. As long as you don't get me jammed up, I'm good. Everybody that's doing their thing right now, most of them I'm connected with. They my brothers. Wes, Conway, Benny, Stairs, you know. Got my young boy 22 coming soon. Uh, Lil Lovey, it's, it's a lot going on. El Camino, Ricky Hyde. It's a lot going on in Buffalo right now. Free J Batters too. J Batters was on his way. He's still, he's still, he's still coming back. Hopefully on that appeal. You know what I'm saying? Just gave my man 40. Took him to trial. You know what I'm saying? People ain't playing. Free J Batters though. Yeah. We exist now. Ain't much they don't know now. We in the door. Thanks to them boys, you know what I'm saying? We got we got movies going right now. I mean Deuce doing the movie thing. The boy E Raw is doing the I'm Living Beat thing. And we got the music. We popping right now. Now if the Bills go to the playoffs or some shit like that, we really gonna be winning. It's sad to say you can make a lot of money off prison. It's not like, listen, I'm gonna be honest, you personally, I feel like prison changed me as a, as a, from a boy to a man. Right. You know what I'm saying? I went to prison. I was you 20 years old. You know what I'm saying? So, like, first time I go to prison, you know, to jail was shit. 16. I did my first bed. I was 18. I wanted to go to jail when I was 18 when I got caught with the gun. You know why? Because the whole city of Buffalo, little niggas that was 16, 17, 18, was going to jail right. for committing crimes. Shootings, robberies, bank robberies. So you want to go, like, oh, my man, oh, the shit, everybody in here, I want to go to jail. Right. Like, it may sound crazy, yeah. but this real this shit. real shit, right? It may sound fucked right. up, but this What you say, crazy. though, the whole city, right? The whole city of Buffalo. This shit crazy. You feel me? This shit crazy. The whole, I'm 33 years old, so yeah. this, when I was 18, I got caught May 13th, 2003. Mm -hmm. A shooting happened, allegedly. I was in the area. I got caught, they took a pistol off my head, a high point nine. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, when I went to jail, when you go to jail, when you see motherfuckers that you was in high school with, niggas that you lived around younger, like, oh, this shit, like, you all y'all niggas in here? What the fuck? Yeah. So niggas just get telling you, like, yo, I got five flat, yo, I got this, I got that, I got this, I got that. You're like, yeah, okay, cool, I'm about to go to jail, I'm about to run that shit. Right. Cause you got the whole city of Buffalo, this yeah. before, this before social media. This before all the beef and shit started in Buffalo. Right. This when you could be friends from a nigga from anywhere in Buffalo. Anywhere. You could be right. your man. I'm right. talking about a nigga you would die for or kill for. Right. Right. You feel what I'm saying? So back then, they were, niggas ain't give a fuck. We going to jail together. We from Buffalo. Fuck, fuck them New York niggas. We from Buffalo. We going to hold it down. 
It don't get me wrong. That's what Buffalo niggas do in jail. That's a lot of niggas mean. from the town suckers. Don't get me wrong. Right. Right. But right. Buffalo right. niggas is official. Rochester niggas is official. Yeah. Syracuse niggas, they think they're New York niggas. That's you feel what I'm saying? Thing. Right. And they stop being guided. That, what can you tell a young nigga? Just like today into hip hop. What could you tell motherfucking Lil Pump right now? What can you tell? What can you tell him? Damn, why you have to choose him? Because he's he getting a lot of money. It's just an example. He get a lot six nine. Yeah, what can you tell six he nine? He an internet. He an like that's the thing about it. Like you know him from that internet. That nigga six nine. You know what can you tell him right now? Like, can you, young nigga with money. <laughs> How old is he? Twenty five. Imagine if he was twenty one with millions of dollars. Like you can't even say what you would or what you won't do because you don't know. Probably do the same thing I did. No, you won't. But on the highest scale, First of like all, your life gonna be work. different. You're gonna walk different, you're gonna talk different, you're gonna eat different. That's a fact. Everything gonna be different. So you just, you you gonna be different. What can you tell these little motherfuckers? There's nothing you can tell a little motherfucker with a with money and a big ass gun. Jizzle right there, T. Jizzle. Matter of fact, DJ. it's a lot of fame. Right. Yeah, that's a fact. It's a lot of fame. T. Jizzle, as a young age, who he did? The Weeknd, right. hey, Tour, yeah, yeah, yeah. Coachella last year, Coachella Future, last year. Drake. Future and Drake. He, he a DJ. He did a few tours with a, a few art, big artists, too. Um, Rick High, as y'all know, Rick High, the producer. Rick High made the beats. He made the famous beat go off beat. That's a fact. He made the beat with Benny Chinks, French Montana. Yeah. Um, Benny and Sky Zoo. Benny and Sky Zoo. Yeah, I'm saying. Some beats. Some beats. Definitely some beats. Some beats. Um, I see the Conway, Westside, homies. They just did the deal with him and them last year. Benny, they signed Benny. They did their deal and then they signed Benny. Wes did the deal. You know, Conway put Conway on to sign that Benny. That's motherfucker. Bro. Butcher, West Side, Conway, Machine Gun Black. Rest in peace, Machine Gun Black. Machine Gun Black got killed what, 07, 08, 06? This is Benny's brother. Benny, this Benny older brother. West Side is the cousin. He's older than everybody. My boy Threes, fucking Conway the Machine. Mm. Man, it was like, it was like a movie, man. It was, it was dope. You know what I'm saying? Because as a kid, like you really don't understand what's going on. It was Nintendo games. It was my, my cousins and my friends coming to stay the night over. Is my mom letting us stay up, and it was all night summer playing, chasing the girls and and shit like that. And it, 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 yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm from a million dollar block too. We gonna, you know what I mean, it's another fight. You feel what I'm saying? So it was like, my block was crazy. I seen a lot on my block, so that's why I said it was like a movie. You feel what I'm saying? It was a lot of gangsters from my block, a lot of money getters from my block, from millionaires from my block. Benny and them was already rapping. It was actually my dad artist in 2008 before my dad went to jail. He signed Conway, Benny, all of them. And uh, he went to jail, so he released them boys off their contract and everybody really went their separate ways. BSF was created and Amira Correctional Facility with Benny, you know what I mean? My man Bundy. When I came home, I had I had down packed with the music and everything. Mm -hmm. and, and I branded it with the music. But I, I remember I, I remember I got some shirts for a video shoot. It's just like one run. I got some shirts and we all wore the shirts and everything like that. And then once I did that, he caught the idea, like, okay. They printed up hoodies, t-shirts, scullies. They went hard with the merch. So that's another thing. Like, their presence is felt. When, they, when you ain't hearing the music, you see in their hoodie. You're seeing their hat. So I think that is what separated them from everybody else. The clothing, the hats and the shirts and the merch, you know what I'm saying? It's like people don't even, they know that's not even my, on my face. Mm -hmm. Some people don't even know. People be surprised that I got anything to do with BSF because they be, they be thinking it's him. Mm -hmm. It is him, you know what I'm saying? It's me too, though. You know what I mean? But bro, it's everything to that shit. He the one, he the mover and shaker and everything. He come up with the ideas and fill me in on everything. Yeah, and the people 
on the streets, they they fly our flag for us, you know what I mean? And they represent us, so but so if this person wear a BSF shirt, he might get into an altercation, they they hold us accountable or label us as like that's got something to do with us, but we could be way in another city somewhere. To me, personally, BSF is like, it's always gonna be here because it's ours, you know what I'm saying? I don't feel like we're gonna sell out. I don't feel like it's something to pass down to our kids. You know how people pass down companies and, and hear certain shit and hand shit over like, you know what I mean? So I think it's gonna be here. I know it's gonna be here forever unless we sell it. Anybody that ever got a shoe would be like, nobody put me on or yeah, I'm lucky or this like, I think we probably like $2 million invested. Mm -hmm. Like through our whole career, easy. We ain't even got two million dollars. We ain't even got a half a million dollars. You know what I'm saying? I got a bunch of bills this week, and majority of them shits ain't even my bills. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They other motherfuckers' bills. My mom had eight kids, you know what I'm saying? Rest in peace, Shane Gun Black. That was my older brother. You know what I'm saying? That was West Side Gun and Conway's first single, all shady records. It was called Machine Gun Black, named after my brother. He was on his Conway shit way back. He been killing niggas in his flow. You know what I mean? Or you know what I mean? Like. Killing niggas, like literally, like all he talk about was dumping, killing you out, digging you back up, fuck your mama, your grandmama, I go shit on her face. Just crazy <laughs> shit. Like real gangster shit. Like, ooh, that nigga name was War God before that nigga was a shit gun, but that nigga was the War God. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm saying, since my older brother, Machine Gun Black, died, I'm the oldest now. I got I got a little knucklehead, bro. I got a little brother who in Wyoming State Penitentiary right now. You know what I'm saying? I got, a, I got another little brother younger than me. You know what I'm saying? Look like me. I got another little brother who in Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? I got like, I got two sisters. You know what I'm saying? Two teenage sisters. And I got two sisters in their 20s. I got, I got a big family, man. Hey, Look, this raw footage. Them niggas just shake out in there. This shit is real. Look, they arguing like a motherfucker too. This is all they do every day. These niggas is idiots. Yo, hot, shut the fuck up. Get this on camera. Come on, bro. We ain't about to do that, bro. Come on, bro. Sit down, sit down. Come on, bro. 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 Come